What's happening guys, Dan Debenham here. I don't really know what this is really. Um, what are we gonna call this? We're we gonna call it a five minute Friday or a fun tip Friday or a Friday, freaky Friday. Does that mean I have to get into changing to somebody else and turn up to somebody else? Maybe next maybe next week will be somebody else here doing it. Um, so this is this is just this is just a quick, it's not really a it's not really a tutorial and it's not a vlog either. It's, it's, it's like an in-between, it's like a tip um, where I show you how to do something but massively quick, dead simple, doesn't need to be massively in-depth, but just will save you guys an absolute ton of work. Um, and it just, makes, it, just makes, it just makes it all worthwhile doing, doesn't it? You know, if you, when you find that little tip, when you find that little thing that just, you just think, oh my God, I've been, doing, I've been doing it this way and I've been doing it that way for such a long time and I never even knew you could do that. Well, this is gonna change your life because this, this is Adobe Premiere goodness. This is Adobe at its best, making your life easier. Let's get in it. Okay, we're in Premiere Pro and we've got our audio track onto audio one of our timeline. What we'd normally do is we'd select it, hit alt, and then we'd duplicate it. We'd then spend an age trying to find a point at the end where we could uh, cut in and a point at the beginning of the track two where we could cut in. Um, joining those two together by deleting the little bits out of the middle and then dragging something like a constant power on there or uh, tweaking the audio up in the audio settings of Adobe Premiere. We're not going to do that because that's old hat and that takes forever. What we're actually going to do is we're going to drag our audio track back into our timeline and instead of doing anything with it, we're going to go up to edit. We're then going to go down to edit in Adobe Audition and then sequence. And we're going to call, call this whatever we want to call it. For this instance, I'm going to call it loop. Um, and then what that does is that round trips the audio into Adobe Audition. It's going to open up. There we go. It's opened up. But we're not going to touch this either because this is not the right settings that we need. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to File. We're going to go to New. And we're going to go to Multitrack Session. We're going to call this whatever we want. For this, I'm going to call it Loop Extend. And we click OK. Yes, I would and then it's going to drag that clip into there. So we grab our clip and we drag it into the first track of this multi-track session. Now, over on the left-hand side, you've got a series of boxes. So you've got media browser, effects rack, markers, properties, etc., etc., etc. What you actually want to be in is properties and you want to select remix. And you can see the settings in there are all grayed out. So what we're going to do is we're going to click enable remix and then you'll see over on your track that it is analyzing your clip. That's letting Adobe Audition know what it's looking at because it's not sure what you're even doing at the moment. This is telling Adobe Audition that. Once it's completed analyzing your clip, in my case in three seconds time, you'll see that it goes bright. And then all the settings over on the left hand side uh, of the property set, they all become active. So you can then start twiddling about with them and messing around. What you're actually gonna do is go to target duration Click on it and you're going to then enable it so that you can put any time you want in there. So for instance, with this one, I'm going to make this 10 minutes long and then you click OK. Back over on your clip, you'll see it applying remix. Once it's done that, it takes just a second to do. Once it's done that, you'll see that your clip is now 10 minutes long and effectively is seamless. We can tell where the clips have been done because if we look Closely, we can see on your track, we can see there are jagged lines all the way along where it's made the cuts. Uh, and those cuts sound something like this. Absolutely amazing. Okay, and so once you've done that and you've got it all set up and it's all done and dusted, what we do then is we go to File and we go to Export and we go Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. At that point, you can call that whatever you want um, and then you can just click Export. 
That will then round trip it back into Adobe, ask you to copy an active sequence into your project bin, and it will then dump the file at the bottom of your um, audio file track. So if we just pull that up to, you'll see what I mean. So you can see you've got your original one and you've got your extended 10 minute cut, which is now in your timeline. So we can delete that and we can move our 10 minute audio up to audio track one. That's it. And that's it. That's all there is to know about it. Nothing else to do. Get out there, get some music, get it into Adobe. Let's start seeing them remixes happen. It's absolutely amazing. It saves you a ton of work, stops you from having to mess around. Let's see some examples. Post them down below. Let me have a look at them, and let's let's enjoy it. If you did like if you did like this video and uh, you enjoyed this tip and this tutorial and you want to see more of these, then please do like and subscribe below and leave a comment if you want to, if you so desire, and uh, I will respond to them as I always do. And I will see you guys next week.